Okay, man. My boy, we got another one, man. Talk to me. What's going on with it? <laughs> another day, same stuff, you know. Different yeah. stuff, whatever, however they say it. That's what it is. We in Raleigh and shit, man. What you what you uh, cooking up out here in Raleigh? So I had to meet some people, go to the studio, you know, rap, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely, bro. What you uh, you were just in Virginia and shit too, right? Yeah, north of VA. Yeah. Yeah, north of VA. What's going on out there and shit, man? Niggas tapping in. Yeah, I was uh, I was with Crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, Crazy. Yeah, I was with Crazy. We okay. Went to a bar, we chopped it up and shit like that. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. Now, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shit been going down lately, you feel me? Uh, I'm gonna just hop into it. Cause this shit right here, this is crazy news, especially if you used to fuck with the Migos. I feel like everybody fuck with the Migos once in their yeah, lifetime. Yeah, everybody grew up off the Migos. Yeah, yeah, man. They they changed the culture, changed the game. I, they got damn damn near invented the word culture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. I, back in the day, I remember when you got the feature with 21 Savage. Uh -huh. That was the same time when the Migos was going up too. Did you ever like run into them and shit back in the day? Nah, I never ran into them. Oh, uh, nah, I did run into them at the uh, jewelry store, Ali jewelry store. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't nothing like music wise. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I ran into them. Yeah. But it's no secret though, you know what I'm saying? Take off. He yeah. just got killed, man. He, well, he got shot in the torso and got shot in the head. At the uh, this at the bowling alley in Houston. Yeah. Uh, what was your first initial thoughts when you seen that news? I mean, that's fucked up. I mean, it's sad, you know. Wrong place, wrong time. That's wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, and it's it's so fucked up because I feel like like out of all the rap, like out of all the Migos and shit, that nigga was the most quietest one. Like laid back, chill. You ain't never really see him online beefing with niggas or screaming at the phone like how a lot of these rappers be doing when they get mad. Yeah, but you know, people be around certain stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's very unfortunate for him. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's very unfortunate. Uh, you know, it's a lot of good people that's in a fucked up situation. I mean, that's, that's the world. You get what I'm saying? We can't control that. That's the universe. Yeah. But you know, he was a good dude. From what I know, from what I seen, he a good dude. Like, that's unfortunate though. Yeah. So you basically you think it was just his, it was just his time to go. Like everything happened for a reason. Nah, I'm not saying that. Like, honestly, how I feel about the situation, from what I've seen and from what people say, yeah. they're trying to say the homeboy did it and stuff like that. But I mean, we don't know. But if it did go down like that, I don't think his homeboy did it on purpose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really believe the homeboy's probably trying to defend him. And you know, shit happened. You can't control an, another person's movement. He was probably really trying to protect them. Cause if he would have survived or he didn't get shot, the story would have been told his homeboys protected him. Yeah. I mean, like a person could be shooting and person, people run back and forth. It's unfortunate, but you know, I, I'm, I think the dude was trying to protect him. It's just people get caught, caught in the crossfire. And you can't really tell exactly like what's going on really. All you see is the argument. So I feel like until like the whole footage come out, then you can really, you know, give your, your honest opinion on it. Cause you really don't know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think, but like I said, I don't, I don't think it was intentional. You get what I'm saying? Cause if nobody would have died or the, nobody part of the Migos would have died, I'm pretty sure the story would have been told like he protected them. Yeah. He tried to protect them. like. Your homeboys, my homeboys, you interview a lot of people that claim they shooters or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, we're not trained. You get what I'm saying? We're not in the military. We're not the police. Yeah. Like, we ain't got that good of a aim. It ain't. People really can't hit a moving target from 20 feet away. But a lot of people say they can, but it's really harder than what you think. So, he probably, like I said, he was probably trying to defend them, man. You know? I mean, it's a fucked Yeah, what you're saying though, it's a fucked up situation? Yeah, like, yeah, it's a fucked up situation. Like, I wouldn't wish that on nobody, and I, I feel like they should be, they should just, they, they should, people should start weighing their opinion on it and let the people grieve on it. You get what I'm saying? Because, like you said, he a good dude. Yeah. 
that's a good per we, that's a good person that was lost especially for the culture you get what i'm saying nobody ain't expect them to to go out the way they the way they went out yeah and that, that's that's unfortunate yeah and then i mean when you look at like the last the last moments leading up to it you know what i'm saying uh they said that they checked in with rap a lot that's who Qu quavo was riding with in the car um it was with jay prince son you know you see that i don't know nothing about that but yeah. what what about them so basically they're supposed to be checked in with you know with mob ties that's jay prince and them in houston I know you heard of Mob Ties, right? That's what yeah, Finesse yeah. Two Times. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was supposed he was supposed to be checked in with no Quavo, but people were saying like, how are you supposed to like when, when niggas check in? That's for protection, and he ended up not even getting protected in that situation. So, my question to you is, do you feel like it's they fault too, kind of? You know, because if you go to another nigga city and some shit like that happen, ain't that's the other people fault too, kind of? Or you don't you don't feel like that? Like it, like I said, it go back to, I believe the people is really trying to protect them. But everybody ain't got aim. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't put that blame on nobody. Like, people, they not, that's not trained security. But at the same time, though, you want your people to protect you. Like, no matter where you go, nobody ain't gonna protect you like your homies. Mm. You get what I'm saying? You could pay somebody to protect you, but who really know if they really gonna jump out in front of that bullet for you? Who know they really gonna shoot something for you? You get what I'm saying? Like anything can happen. You can't, you can't say something ain't gonna happen if you don't know. People are always saying they would have did this, they did would have did yeah. that. But anybody could be in that situation. It's been a lot of situations when people that's in the streets they go on active missions and they jump in front of their homeboy bullet and they shooting at somebody else and they die. It's the mm. same thing. It's yeah. like even with the army. You know what I'm saying? They train professionals. That's what it's called, um, friendly fire or something. I, don't, I might not know that. Yeah, I think I, I, think I know. I might not about. know the exact term, uh, terms, but I mean, shit like this happen. I mean, it's fucked up. A lot of shit happened in the world fucked up. But yeah. at the same time, though, like he went outside. He wanted to go have fun. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what happened with anything. Everybody go outside. Anything can happen anywhere. Yeah, some people are saying like. Oh, you know, me goes down a different level. Why they even being around those type of dudes? You feel me? Or those I, they got more money? Why you even? You won't see like if you if you gonna gamble, go to Vegas. That's what people were saying. Like if you gonna if you gonna gamble, especially in Houston, it was that Chicago the Jewel guy. He died after the dice game. You see that? That was like three months ago, two oh, months yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that. Yeah, bro. So niggas are saying like, damn it. Migos, all the money they got, the fame they got, they should have, if you're going to gamble, go to a place like Vegas. How do you feel about that? I'm vegan. I don't eat meat. But listen to what I'm saying that I don't, I don't go around telling people they shouldn't eat meat. I like, you can't tell nobody how to live their life. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm outside. Like, you done asked me plenty of times why I'm driving around in a pink car. I ain't worried about nobody. Like, I... Like, <laughs> you ask me that all the time. Why I'm riding around in a pink car, like, you ain't, you don't be worried. Like, a lot of people, you can't tell nobody how to live their life. If they want to have fun, that's how they want to have fun. Let them have fun. Mm. People know what come with situations. They, it wasn't no guns put up. Nobody was taking the guns or I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the situation, but. You can't determine on how somebody live their life or how somebody else get happiness. Some people don't want to go to Vegas. People want to be around certain people. Mm. And the same thing, like, people talking about if they got this amount of money, you don't think the people that was shooting dice with them had the same amount of money? Probably not. How can you they, determine that? They probably had money, though, but not but as how, much. But how you know, though? Come on, amigos, they're multi-millionaires, man. It's, it's multi-millionaires, people that don't rap. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that people conform around people in their social class. So I feel like them people is in their social class. They feel comfortable around them. You, you do what you do. You're not going to go around the way you don't feel comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's a, it was, they was comfortable and they had trust somewhere. That's why, that's why they was there. Mm. That's, that's what I feel. Yeah. 